Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with Wine.com, and I am here to guide you through the Cabernet Sauvignon Tasting Trio. This is one of our discovery kits where you are able to taste three distinct styles of one grape variety. And for this, it is Cabernet Sauvignon. So I encourage you to use the tasting mat that comes with the kit, super handy. There's a space for three different glasses. I encourage you to taste them side by side if you can, preferably in the same size shape glasses that'll help you get the most from it. Um, and you can watch this video either before, during, or after you choose to taste, but uh, it's a great thing to be able to taste them all side by side because then you're really able to kind of pinpoint the differences in each style and that'll help you understand what you enjoy and maybe what you don't enjoy as much in uh, each different wine. So, um, tasting these three wines, we are going to explore Cabernet Sauvignon. It's known as the king of red grapes because it grows just about everywhere in the world. It's a very sturdy grape. It takes to a lot of different climates. Um, and so each of these three represent some different places where it grows. But the things that it's kind of known for are uh, dark fruit, um, really strong tannins, and sometimes kind of um, olive tobacco kind of earthy undertone. But again, some of those um, are more predominant depending on where it's grown. So the three we're tasting, earthy, structured, and rich. We will start with the earthy. This is uh, Vast Felix. Vast Felix comes from Margaret River. This is on the far southwest corner of Australia. It is known for growing Bordeaux varieties and the style is actually quite similar. So when you're looking at this, um, you mean look at the color, but then I want you to swirl it because when you swirl it, uh, the aromas um, evaporate, they kind of come out to your nose and you really wanna get as much as you can. So tasting this, I get a lot of um, the kind of earthy undertone. I get some um, kind of forest floor, what they call some dried tea leaves, some cedar, some cigar box. There's a lot of the earthy component coming through here. That said, I also get some good um, blackberry, some currant, um, and a little bit of mint. There's like this herbally kind of thing going on that's really, really nice. When you sip it, swirl it around your mouth a little bit. You wanna get all the texture and flavors going on everywhere so you can get the most out of it. So this has really good tannins coming through. That's that grippy sensation that you get in your mouth. And then I get, again, some of those uh, forest floor, um, dried tea leaves, um, good blackberry coming through, some currant um, and that cedar coming through. And so that's kind of the earthy character of this wine. It's something that would be amazing with anything kind of like a braised meat dish because it would really bring out the fruit of the wine. Um, but this is just a lovely wine. It's a great uh, similar style to Bordeaux if you enjoy Bordeaux. Um, and that is a typical Margaret River uh, style Cabernet Sauvignon. So that's earthy. We're going to move to structured. And when we kind of say structured, most Cabernet is structured, but um, a structure of kind of blending that earth tone with the more fruity ripe tones of the other end of the spectrum, which is the rich style. So for structured, we went to Sonoma County. This is the Shug um, from Sonoma Valley. Um, this is a great producer, family owned producer coming out of Sonoma. Um, and this style is really kind of in the middle of this very earthy and the very rich. So give that a swirl. Oh, and you get a lot of the currant and some blackberry and a hint of spice, but the fruit is much more ripe in this style. So here we had a little bit more tart fruit and more, a little bit more currant fruit, definitely more earth. In this, the fruit is riper. Mm. And the tannins, very present, very structured, great acid and tannin balance. The fruit is ripe, but it's not too rich. It's still on the kind of fresh side. And then you get a little bit of tobacco, a touch of cedar just from the oak, but it's really nice and pleasant, really balanced. Moving to the rich style, this is the fullest body of these three styles. This is the Dow uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. It comes with Paso Robles, and this is a really warm place in California, so the grapes get really, really ripe. 
Um, even looking at the color here, you can see that it's a much denser, denser color. So giving a swirl, on the nose you get ultra ripe, if I can say ultra ripe. Um, black cherry, blackberry, um, and a little bit of licorice. So it's just kind of this kind of sweeter spice going through. Um, a touch of kind of savory smokiness there, but really the, the focus here is this rich, ripe fruit. On the palate, very similar. It is a full body. The fruit is really there. It's very present, it's weighty. Um, so it's really a stark difference from this earthy style. Um, that said, it still has that structure. It still has the, the tannins and, and everything that goes with that full body. So these are the three styles. You've got the earthy, the structured, the rich. They kind of show that spectrum of Cabernet Sauvignon and why it's grown all over the world is because you can have all these different unique styles. Uh, if you do particularly like one style or the other, you can find a link to um, a list of many other wines in that similar style on the Tasting Trio page. So thank you for tasting with us and I hope you enjoy. Cheers.